What's up YouTube and Facebook? Blue Dooley in the garage with my hat on backwards because I'm doing welding and I don't want sparks in my hair. Got the Wheelie King sitting on the CXT's trailer today along with a couple pieces of my wood slats so you kind of get an idea of how the trailer's coming together. This piece of angle iron and then that piece of angle iron over there haven't been welded in yet. I just finished notching the uh, frame rails for that so We'll show you how I did that and kind of how it's all coming together. The rear end of the trailer, my welds aren't really pretty and that kind of bugs me, but the rear end of the trailer is pretty much together. I haven't decided on how I'm going to do the ramps for this trailer yet. I don't know if I'm going to build some kind of slide out ramps or if I'm going to try to be really fancy and build some flipping ramps. So. Just kind of depends on my enthusiasm when I get to that part of the trailer. I do need to get some more of these wood slats. I grabbed a handful from work and didn't realize a couple of them were garbage and bowed real bad. So I'm going to have to get some more wood slats from work, but that's alright. So let's get you in here and show you what's going on right now. Alright, we'll get you in here. That's how the Wheelie King's going to sit with the uh, monster truck tires. I'm probably going to have to cut them slats in half because uh, right now it looks like a scale 2x12 and uh, I've never seen a trailer decked with 2x12. So we'll get the monster truck off here. Not sure if anybody's seen my Facebook posts. I did on a couple of groups, but these wood slats actually fit between the 2x whatever size in uh, bunks of lumber. So if you need some wood slats for decking or other scale projects, they're a little they're a little wide for one tenth scale anything, or even the semi truck stuff. If you cut them in half, they'd probably be a little more scale. But all they do is separate the lumber up, and when they're counting it, putting a bunk together, and then it kind of helps hold the bunk together a little bit when they band it because they usually band around these. Most places probably throw them away, or I did see someone said that the truss plant they work at, they actually save them and then send them off to be turned into wood pellets. But chances are pretty good if you go to a lumber yard, picking up some other stuff, you can probably walk away with a fistful of those for free. That's that. And like I said, this is just a piece of my angle I'm using. And then the frame notch, which doesn't look very square from on the camera, but it is square, I promise. But I did this for all of these. This one's notched in. This one will be notched in when it's welded in place. So then I just, ooh, excuse me, just put some welds around it. The inside's really buggery looking. The one at the front is of course up top, or flipped upright, and is fully welded into everything. A little overkill. And I think what I'm going to do, instead of getting some more angle, I'm just going to get some flat stock. And weld the flat stock to the outside to make my trailer edge. So there's that. Let me reposition the trailer and I'll show you the trailer end. Alright, got the trailer hanging off the workbench a little bit. There's my dovetail. And then I put that angle kind of in the middle. Not a very good job, but a little bit of overhang to kind of protect the tail lights. Again, my welds aren't really pretty. And the rear end might be a little thicker or a little taller than it needs to be, but I think it'll be all right. So here's a couple of short pieces of slat I cut down. They just fit right in there real nice. Uh, they're not quite as thick as the inside of the uh, angle iron, but it'll be all right for, for what I'm going for. Doesn't have to be super perfect. And then, like I said, the flat. 
flat piece will go here on the outside. And then I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the ramps, as I said. We'll get there when we get there. I have enough rod, the same stuff I was using for the axles. I could come out, bend it, come over, and just put a loop and either set the ramp in it or uh, build the ramp so they'll flip, depending on where I attach the rod to this. So, I'm going to get the rest of the cross members welded in, and that'll kind of do it. We'll uh, get those cross members in, set it next to the CXT, and then I'll put the uh, Wheelie King back on it so everybody can get a real scale size of uh, how long this trailer is. Okay, this is the hitch I printed out for the gooseneck. The ball fits in here really well and it's held in place right now by a cotter pin which actually secures it in there pretty good. We'll, uh, check it out. And out it comes. It's kind of hard to see in there but it is actually a hemisphere in there so it sits on a, on a pretty good surface. I did angle it just a little bit to match the angle on the uh, trailer neck itself. This piece will be glued into the gooseneck and then I just need a cotter pin and doing this on camera is kind of hard kind of tricky. Cotter pin will be able to hold it in there and then I can just easily bend an end ear up and the trailer will stay attached and then just pinch it back straight, pull it out trailer will come unhitched. So that's the other little 3D printed part I made. And if you haven't seen any posts or in my uh, CXT build, this is actually the ball stud for the gas struts that are common on a lot of vehicles. In fact, actually, the back glass on the wife's Jeep Liberty uses gas struts to hang hold open and they just snap on here. Now this is a 10 millimeter uh, sphere so it might be a little big for tenth scale or smaller but the CXT since it's so big this and sixth scale it still looks a little big but I'm willing to sacrifice a little bit of scale just because I know how much weight these can hold. I mean if you look at like a hatchback car. I mean those gas struts and these little ball studs hold up the whole hatch which is probably you know could be up to a hundred pounds. I don't know how much a hatch actually weighs. I've never driven a hatchback. But that's my little secret to the gooseneck hitch. I mean if you put it up by the door handle it could be you know like a two-fifths Two and fifteen sixteenths ball or a three inch ball, depending on where you mount it on the truck. All right, had to get her out in the sun and get a good photo for you all. There she is, the CXT, the Kyosho USA One, and then on the back of the trailer is the HPI Wheelie King. The USA One does overhang the trailer a little bit. That's all right. A real monster truck would, no matter what scale it is. Got the truck at a little bit of an angle, but it looks like it's going to be about 6 foot 5 inches long from the front of the bumper to the rear of the trailer. Really happy with the way this whole setup is coming along. I am stoked to get this thing finished up. The light kit's going to be ridiculous on this thing with all the lights it's going to need. But it'll be worth it in the end. Again, I just put the monster trucks on the back of the trailer just to show scale. The USA-1 is the same size scale as the Tamiya Clodbuster. In fact, that's actually sitting on Clodbuster tires right now. Just to give you an idea of how uh, huge the CXT is compared to a 10th scale truck. The uh, trailer suspension, it's, uh, it's going to need a little bit of a lift. I'm going to have to weld some little risers in the back for bolting those leaf springs in and with the two trucks on it the springs are about flat so the wood slats are pretty much touching the rear tires so 
Might need to get some little helper springs just to kind of hold the trailer up. I did see in a post of mine, someone had mentioned the trailer tires weren't far enough forward. And it kind of depends on the style of trailer you're going for. If it didn't have the dovetail, or if it had a hydraulic raising tail like some trailers have, then the trailer axles would need to be a little farther forward. For a dovetail though, most of the trailers I've looked at, the trailer axles are pretty close to the, where the uh, dovetail starts. So that's kind of where I'm going to mount them. Yeah, there she is. She's coming along good. Zoom out a little bit here. In fact, there's the uh, dually for a size comparison. So that's going to be it for this video. I'm going to, well, I need to get some more wood slats. Uh, the trailer is fully welded up, with the exception of the risers I'm going to need to put on for the trailer suspension. Hope everyone's going to have a good week and a good weekend. I'm not sure when I'm going to get this out, so we'll talk to you later. Hit like and subscribe, and have a good one.